What do you mean by culture? And civilization. So do you live in a culture or do you live in a civilization? So you live in a civilization, but is, is the civilization is also culture in your society? No? Then, so you are not a cultural girl, cultural people, person? What's the difference between the culture and civilization? So what about the society? What do you mean by society? Yeah. Then what's the relationship between culture and society and culture and civili civilization and society? And what's the difference between the culture and civilization? So these are really important concepts for you to understand how you can be socialized in our modern society. Society. So, uh, is there any society without culture? No. no. Then every society has its own culture. Every society has its culture. Yes. Uh, wait. Uh. You said that there is no society without culture. You said. Yeah. Then every society has its own culture, right? Yes. Then what about? So, is there any society without civilization? Okay, wow. I'm confused. <laughs> so, you have not a, the concrete concept about the culture, civilization, and society. Okay, what is society? Society is, what's the difference between the society and individual? Individual is what? Individual is a person, not a society. So there is no interaction over here. So individual is in this state, yeah, rock and hopes, yeah, what they call what? State of nature. State of nature. Or the Koreans call 자연상. State of nature. Have you ever been in yeah, state of nature? Yeah, yeah, like a desert island. Desert island. There are some islands, right? Yeah, especially, yeah, uh, Unmanned, unmanned island, uh, desert island. There's no man, no person. But if you were isolated on the island, then you can live in the state of nature, like Robinson Crusoe. Okay. So have you ever been yeah, in the state of nature? No. Why not? You have a really natural beauty. Yeah. <laughs> the state of nature is yeah those kind of situation. So I, if I were under the apple tree, then all I have to do is uh, yeah, wait for the apple yeah, <laughs> to fall, fall on my mouth. <laughs> oh, it's a really peaceful. Yeah, so state of nature is the individual. So sometimes we can dream uh, of the state of nature. Yeah, it sounds like a paradise, but yeah, however, yeah, the realistic side of the desert island is the opposite. Yeah, there will be a lot of storms and bad weather, and we have to think about what we have to be worried about food and so lonely, and maybe uh, starve to death uh, just waiting for a boat to yeah, meet, meet me. Yeah. So it's a really wretched. Yeah. Anyhow, so there are some philosophers who think uh, uh, who, who ha has it, it, their own opinion about the state of nature. And John Locke yeah, thought of uh, yeah, state of nature as uh, okay, the, yeah, a comfortable condition. Okay, no problem. All you, all you have to do is what? Wait for the apple tree apple to fall on my mouth. And if there is a rabbit over there, yeah, I can throw the stone. And if I hit yeah, the rabbit, and then it's mine. Okay, so it's really good. Yeah. Meantime, yeah, there can be conflict because uh, I hit the stone, but the other uh, another guy hit the stone also. So I insist that the rabbit is mine, but the other guys said that the rabbits are theirs. So we can have some kind of conflicts. And then uh, I was waiting for the apple to fall on my mouth, but there was a storm. <laughs> so, uh, so I couldn't have a chance. Okay. Anyhow, sometimes, uh, yeah, or jaguar or some other yeah, fierce animals can attack me. 
and so I can be killed by animals. So state of nature can be modified by people. So yeah, we made a society. Okay, what? So uh, two or more people get around. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, like yeah. Yeah, we made a society. Yeah, by what? By making contract. What kind of contract? Uh, yeah. Communication. Yeah, right, communication. So if there is an enemy from the out of the, out of the world, then we can, yeah, get, we can unite together and we have to defend against the enemy. And if there is a conflict between us, then we have to solve or resolve our problems uh, yeah, on the court. So we have built so many institutions, uh, so there is a society. Then, yeah, in the primitive times, uh, originally we have no society, right? So which is the first? Individual is first or society first? Individual is first. So there is no society. Society is yeah, made up of individuals by making what? by making contract. So this is it, the, the famous uh, yeah, social contract theory. Okay, it's supported by what? John Locke and Hobbes and Rousseau. Okay, so they made society. Why? Why they made society? Because they want what? Yeah, life, yeah. freedom, and estate. They want to yeah, be guaranteed, especially for life, freedom, estate more securely than in state of nature. So they made a society. So if I live not in society, not in state of nature, but in a society, then I can be guaranteed for my what? Life. Because there will be some kind of military system yeah, to protect me against yeah, the enemy. And what about the freedom? I need more freedom. And yeah, I can yeah, keep my estate, my riches. Okay? So, we made society by making contract. So originally there is no there is no society. So this is the what society nominal nominal society theory. Not real real society theory has no basis. Yeah. Nominal nominal society theory is correct. So which is more important, individual or society? If there is no individual, there can be no society. Society is not real. Oh, oh, Society yeah. is just a nominal. It's just a contract. There's no existence of society. Yeah, but... So if you think, if you emphasize, if you put more emphasis on the society, and it is really dangerous because it can lead to totalitarian or authoritarian rule. Yeah. Yeah, like this one. So we made a society for our life, freedom, estate. But the society we made, yeah, forces us, force us to jeopardize our life, freedom, and estate. Then is the society necessary? No, no. We don't need those kind of societies. If you yeah put more emphasis on the society, the society can reduce the individual's life, freedom, and estate. Ah, so you have to be very careful. Mm. And Park geun the former president of the Republic of Korea, mm -hmm. she said that what well, the nation is more important than the individual. Oh, I said the same thing like that. We have to be loyal to our nation is the totalitarian idea. Individual is the core element of the society. So, so there are many times for a society or for a nation to jeopardize, to endanger our lives, freedoms, and estates. So, if the society reduces or jeopardizes or yeah, endangers our life, freedom, estate, then we have no choice but to yeah, come back to what? To the state of nature. Okay. Yeah, just waiting for the apple, apples yeah, to fall on my mouth. And even though I am so dangerous alone, 
but I have to fight against the fierce animals. That's much better. Then, in society, with less life, less freedom, less estate. So John Locke said that we could come back, we could return to the state of nature. So, the person over here, especially the leader, like Manok over here, has to rule the people, yeah, by what? By constitution. So this is what? So Rousseau yeah, insisted the ruler should follow the constitution. The rule. So that is what? Yeah, constitution-oriented monarchy system. What about the other philosopher, Hobbes? Hobbes yeah, had said that in his famous, famous writing, Leviathan, that yeah, we cannot come back to state of nature because there will be yeah, severe conflicts between individuals. And so if I hit the stone, the other guys yeah, will say that they hit the stone yeah, and they hit the rabbit. So we can be in a struggle yeah, with some severe conflicts. So we cannot yeah, come back to conflicts. He said in his, in his book, Leviathan, that every individual has to fight against every individual. Yeah. So more than 10,000 people, individuals, have to fight against yeah, more than 10,000 people. Mm -hmm. So we cannot yeah, return to the state of nature, to the state of individual. Then, yeah, what's his yeah, solution? Yeah, with less world, jeopardizing life, freedom, estate by the monarch, or by the president, or by the authoritarian rule. There have been a lot of times, especially during the what, Romanos, Romanov kingdom in Russia, or in some authoritarian rule during the a, in Korea president Lee Seung-man, Park Jong-hee, and Chun Doo-hwan. There are a lot of dictators, and they, yeah, what, they violated the rules, and they, what, deprived us of our life, freedom, and estate. Mm -hmm. So, but, hope to say, even though they jeopardize uh, our old properties, we cannot come back to the state of nature. So, he agreed on the idea that, what, not constitution-oriented monarchy system, but authoritarian, authoritarian or totalitarian yeah, monarchy system. After his theory, there have been so many monarchs, so many kings, yeah, yeah, who ruled with the authoritarian atmosphere, yeah, and they suppressed, oppressed, and manipulated their people. So, what's your opinion about this society? So, which is uh, you know, correct? Locus, locus, yeah, opinion or Hobbes' opinion? Mm. So it depends uh, 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 on uh, people to people, okay, person to person. Anyhow, then, so now you have understand what is individual and what is society. So society, John Locke said, we need what? Life, freedom, estate. These Locke's ideals are reflected in the Declaration of Revolution in France, and it is also mentioned in the Declaration of Independence in the United States. And the U.S. Constitution has also pursued its ideals yeah, from Locke. Okay. Life, freedom, estate, yeah, these are called what? Property property. Yeah, written by Locke. So in the broader sense, property yeah, includes life, freedom, estate. That is society. So we need more lives, yeah, longer lives, yeah, secure lives, and more freedom. We need yeah, more estate. We want to be secured yeah, very yeah, what, uh, appropriately. Yeah. And so we can enjoy all our properties. So individual property cannot be violated by the nation. So this is mine, then the nation cannot yeah, deprive me of this pen. That is what? Private property system. Yeah, private wealth system. So we live in that kind of society. Yeah. So what about your glasses? Is it yours? Yes, it's yeah, yeah, it's yours. Then the nation or society yeah, can deprive you of your glasses. Because, yeah, that is estate, is estate. Is it possible? No, absolutely not. Yeah. 
So now you understand what the individual and society. So uh, originally there's no there's no society. Society is just the imaginary, not the real one. What is the real one? Real one is individual. But just we have made society by making contracts. So society needs what? Interaction. Interaction. So what about then culture? Culture is the most important thing is what? Patterned. Patterned is really important. Patterned way of so patterned can be replaced, shared. Way of thinking, way of doing, way of behaving, way of making things, way of doing all the things. So whether it is or spiritual, mental, or physical, no problem. So what about this desk? Is it a culture? No. Then I mean, is it a civilization? <laughs> No, Some no. students say that what's the difference between the culture and civilization? They can answer like this. Yeah, culture is uh, something mental or spiritual and civilization is uh, physical. So that's is, uh, yeah, is a civilization. In the civilization, we use desk. In an uncivilized society, they don't use oh. yeah, desk. So desk is a civilization. Yeah, it's a, a old fashioned answering. You are not supposed to answer like that. In yeah, nowadays uh, interview yeah, uh, f uh, yeah, in the in the for the interviewer, especially for entering a college or university. Then what about the culture? Culture is pattern, the shared way of all the things. Yeah, making what making desk and you are using the desk. Is it a pattern or shared way? Yes. Yes, many students use desks. Yeah, is it what? Culture, culture. It's a culture. <laughs> yeah. Almost all of the things, whether it is uh, what, imaginary, real, so all can be classified into culture if only, if only what? It is patterned. Okay. It is shared, right? So what about yeah, the, the lecturing over here? So I teach all the things to you and now you, you are learning some kind of knowledge from me. Is it culture? Is it a shared patterned way of yeah, learning? Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. In the next door, <laughs> yeah, there is a math class over here. And the math teacher also uses what? Board and desk. <laughs> yeah, is it a shared patterned? Yeah, it's a patterned. Then it can be called what? Culture. So, yeah, please answer me. Is there any society? Society. Society is what? Society is composed of individuals, not in the state of nature. Yeah, society, yeah, why we compose, why we make up a society? Because we need more freedom, more liberty, okay? More uh, life. Then, is there any society without culture? No. What do you think about the primitive society? Uh, Does it have a culture? Mm. Now let's imagine. The primitive man, yeah, they sat around the fire and they burned their meat and potatoes and they ate and they have maybe they had love yeah, each other and they had yeah many kinds of what pattern shared way of what thinking making things making food burning fires and sometimes expressing their love and sometimes a patterned way of what? Having sex. All these kind of what? what patterned. So there's no society without culture. It means that every society, uh, every, uh, sorry, every society has its own culture because the individuals in a society, they have to uh, have interaction. So inter if they yeah, interact, yeah, then it can indispensably lead to the interaction, indispensably lead to what? Patterned way, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, let's make an example. If you meet your friend many so many times, <laughs> then it can be patterned. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, uh, what, 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 uh, what will you do today? Uh, what do you think about it? Uh, let's let's yeah, yeah, go to a coffee shop and we drink coffee. Yeah, it's a kind of a patterned way. So every society, even in the primitive society, they have culture. So every society has its own culture. There's no society without culture. Then now, 
What about civilization? <laughs> Now you can understand culture. Culture is all kind of doings. Not only physical, but also mental and spiritual, religional, all the things. Yeah. If only it is patterned or shared, then it can be classified as a culture. Then what about the civilization? So also now I ask you, yeah, is there any society without civilization? Uh -huh. Is there any society without civilization? No? Then every, civili every society has its own civilization? Yes. Then what's the difference between the culture and civilization? Same, yeah. according to your answering. Um. Uh. As I said before, yeah, culture is mental, civilization is physical. No. No, physical can be also culture. Then what is a civilization? So the famous yeah, historian, Arnold Toynbee. Yeah, what's his nationality? What sounds? Arnold uh, uh, Toynbee. Yeah, Arnold Toynbee. You don't know? Yeah, Arnold Toynbee. It sounds like. Indian name, <laughs> not the American Indian, but the yeah, uh, yeah, the Asian Indian. Okay, Toynbee. No, no, no. And all the Toynbee is a British historian, an English historian, mm. and his great yeah historical work is what. Challenge and Response. Challenge and Response is written by Arnold Toynbee. In his book, he said that there are some natural challenges yeah, toward the mankind, yeah, like a flood, or storm, or typhoon, or many other natural disasters. Especially the flooding was so frightening the people in all over the world. So there are some yeah, great flooding and they can yeah, give mankind the challenge to overcome. By overcoming the challenges, we can make one civilization. So almost all of the four great civilizations can be built on the riverside. Yeah, like what? Hwangha River in China, or Nile River in Egypt. Any other civilization, great civilization? What 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 are the four great civilization? Is uh, yeah, Hwangha Hwangha River civilization, Hwangha civilization, Nile civilization, and what? Four great civilization, and Mesopotamian Mesopotamian civilization on the riverside of Euphrates and Tigris. And what about the last one? Indus civilization. Yeah, on the riverside of in, uh, Indus. Indus. Indus in India. Indus River. S ah. So these are four great civilizations. Yeah, there is a really calm movie and really fertile river yeah, in China, yeah, like Yangtze, Yangtze River. But along the Yangtze River, there was no civilization. Yeah. Even though the soil nearby the river is so fertile. Along the Huanghe River, it's really sterile and there are a lot of flooding. So by overcoming the, the obstacles and natural disasters, they made a civilization. And what about the India? So they have what? Uh, Ganges River. Ganges River. Alongside the Ganges River, it is really fertile. The soil is fertile. Even though being so, for, so fertile, but there was no civilization. Yeah, along the Indus River, uh, it is sterile, and there are a lot of floodings. And by overcoming, and what about the Egypt? Yeah, Nile Nile River is also famous, maybe notorious for its flooding. Yeah, to the Egypt people, so they made a civilization. And the Mesopotamian civilization is also okay. So all these four great civilizations yeah, are built yeah, not just uh, on the fertile river side, but yeah, on the very flooding river side. So then, what is civilization? Civilization is what? Yeah. Civilization has its what? Complex, complex structure. 
of what? Political, economic, or social. Yeah. The civilization society is a civilization have some kind of complex structure of what? Politics, economy, and society. Not so simple. Then what's the criterion for being complex and simple? Is it not absolute standard? Yeah, is it a relative? So yeah, more complex structure. Yeah, compared with other cultures, then it can be classified as civilization. So every society has its own culture, but not all the societies uh, have their own civilization. Some of them have their civilization. There is a civilized society. Then which is more, which is broader yeah, between the culture and civilization? Culture. Right, every society has its own culture. So, yeah, this is a society, society, a large society, small society, society. Every society has its own what? If they, yeah, if they, if they have shared a way of thinking, doing and making things, they have what? Culture, 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 culture. So every society has its own culture. But not every, every society, not all the societies have their own civilization. Some of them have their civilization. This society has its own culture, and this culture is more complex than the other ones. Then this society can be classified as what? Civilization. So civilized society is yeah, more complex, has a more complex culture. So some of the, this is civilized, civilized, this is civilized, but this is a, this has its own culture, but this society has no civilization. Okay. So, then, is it correct? Every culture is, every culture is civilization. No, every civilization has its own culture. Every civilization has its culture. Right, right. So these are all about what? Culture, civilization, and society. Okay? So you have to understand the difference between a, a, an individual and a society. So if the society forces us to reduce or to jeopardize our life, freedom, and estate, we can come back to the state of nature. There are many cases for the nation to force you yeah, to reduce your life. Yeah, like uh, a what the customs of uh, yeah, if a king or queen died, then uh, in Korea, yeah, about yeah, 100 people had to die. Yeah. yeah. With burial. Okay. And in China, China, China Kingdom, maybe more than 1,000 people have had to die. Yeah. As soon as a king or queen died. So there is a terrible yeah, forcing yeah, by society. So we reject those kind of society. So individual is much more important than society. Anyhow, if we make a society, then yeah, we have no choice to have what culture. But some of the society, they don't have civilization. Yeah, that's the difference between the culture and civilization. So you need what the relationship between a a individual and a society, and the difference between the culture and civilization. Culture is patterned or shared area of thinking, doing, and making things, and all kind of things. Civilization, among the culture, among the cultures, there are some civilization. They have what? Compared, a complex, complex structure of politics, economics, and society. That is classified as a civilization.